Welcome to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. This is going to be uh, all aces run of the game. So I'm going to go for all the named enemies, which are the ones that are really hard to kill because they like to dodge all your bullets. And then I'm going to attempt to get all A ranks, but I'm not going to hold any promises on that. I'm not going to abuse the saving feature to make sure I get A ranks for all missions. I will attempt, but I make no promises. So what Valkyria Chronicles is, is a strategy kind of shooter game. It focuses, it has two different modes, command mode and action mode. Command mode, you go, you look around the map, you can see the units you can see with your own soldiers, make plans on the routes and go over what you should do, what you think would be a good idea. And that is a giant drill. And then there's action mode where you, you control your units. It's kind of like a third person shooter with kind of XCOM rules for those who know what the XCOM series is. I'll get more in detail of that as we get to the actual gameplay. This is introducing, in essence, our main heroes and the enemies. This is, in essence, the tale of Squad 7, led by Welkin Gunter. We'll get to him when he shows up. Okay, giant drills laser speeds. I don't want to face that, but I'm going to have to when we get to that point in the game. And this game is actually kind of told in a sort of reverse chronology. It told as if someone's reading the, a storybook to us. Hence the, awesome, in my opinion, awesome graphics of watercolor and just the book-like design of it. But without further ado, let's get right into this. Valkyria Chronicles. Going for a new game. And here it is, on the Gallian front. And this is an entire book on this game. <laughs> the year is 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent, and the Second European War was on. Awesome magic rocks, but still rocks. Oh boy, the Lancers. With its vast military Seriously, their lances are rocket launchers. They are awesome. And just makes you wonder, does anyone actually try to use it as a legit spear? The Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Oh boy. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two. It also helped it was, you know, the in the corner next to the ocean. Under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded Oh great, they're going over our force of They're attacking for our rocks. Those are our rocks. Prologue. Gallia to arms. And this is in essence, the main menu of the game, book mode. This is where we go between different cutscenes. Uh, eventually, we can do our optional battles as well. And then there's a menu, chapter select, tab select, save, options, title screen, everything you would expect from a menu. Tab select is for the tabs over, I can't show with the mouse because the mouse isn't a thing in the book mode, but the H, S, P, those are all different tabs that we'll lock as we go through the game. And the most important aspect of Valkyria Chronicles, saving. Let me just say it right now, you are going to be saving a lot. I am probably going to be a bit more scarce in saving, simply because that way, you know, you guys don't have to see me save every like five minutes. Now, let's get right into the prologue. Gallia to Arms, a meeting. I cannot stop gushing over the watercolor. March, 1935. The graphics of the game is one of my favorite aspects of it, besides the game, besides the gameplay itself. I'm a bit of a sucker for strategy games, and that is 
That engine block is just an obvious target. One good rocket to that, and that thing's probably gonna go down quickly. Headed inland towards the capital. Not even protected with armor plating. Seriously, look at it! It's obvious! It's as if the truck is screaming, hey, shoot right here. I haven't been down this road in years. Country roads. Changed country towns in general just tend not to change. Even my own personal experience. They seem to hate change. Already? Well, Ken. Hey, this is our hero guys. of the game, Welkin Gunter. A hey, nature enthusiast and someone who tends year. to forget talking to fish makes people give you crazy looks. Kind of like that. They're giving him looks because, you know, he's talking to fish. Granted, I don't. Granted, I'm kind of biased in that regard because I hate fish in general, and, well. Freeze! Kind of saw that coming. Slowly. I mean, we have a z z weird zoom, which then goes to, you know, doom, and someone pointing a gun at you. you around before. What's your name? Um. My name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. <laughs> We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchior. Our secondary so, protagonist. I'm wondering what you Probably doesn't look like that for now. There. Imperial spies are in the area. Uh-oh. Uh, this book is nothing, really. Your tone uh, could do use work, Welkin. And, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I know. Because she's not believing you. And you don't you know exactly sound door, confident. Mr. Artist, we'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Oh, great. Not even five minutes into the game, and we got arrested. Thanks, fish. Because of fish. See, this is why I hate fish. Be disregarding the fact that, you know, I attempt to eat them and they kill me. But, you know, I get arrested over fish because I decide to go talk to them like a crazy person. Ugh. Vulcan. Never change. And let's go to the Imperial attack. This is... Let's see how Welkin gets out of being arrested. And given it the uh, chapter name, or not chapter, uh, episode name, I'm assuming it's going to be because of Imperials. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. You're either Thank doing a good cop routine, so you see, really or you are sketch. not the most Maybe. skilled in interrogation. This could be some kind of secret code, and I intend to take my time finding out for sure. Gotta lean towards the ladder on this one. Right. Welks, is that you? Isara. My yeah, favorite character in the game. Perfect. Isara Gunter. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welks? <laughs> I love that tone. It's just a. When you get into this Don't time, Toad, which right. implies this General is Gunther's a common occurrence, it's not rare at all. Supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. It also <laughs> that pout. Uh, I. Whenever someone gives that pal, it's I just apologize. enjoyable. But I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Has Another evidence on how this is nature. not a rare occurrence. University, right? Guilty as charged. He I get so into it understands I how people could look at him crazily, which watching. means he had it enough to where someone probably explained it to him. Or he just noticed. Gunfire. Or an engine block Everyone exploding. Keep your heads down. Don't you hate it? And yep, no, nope, Imperials. They have. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's not good. And red shirt down. Blue shirt. But you got the idea. Expendable. Welcome. Soldier down. You can handle a gun, right? He yeah. better. He's the general's son. Anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. 
Well, at least that red shirt managed to get shot and allow me to have a gun. And here's the game's tutorial about saving. Even the game itself says, save often. You're gonna need it. And let's go to our tutorial of the gameplay. Encounter up rule. Also, I'm just gonna say right now, okay, here's the plan. I love the voice actors for this game. They got really good voice actors. At half, I would say about half the main cast I recognize. Well, I wouldn't say half, but probably more quarter. But I recognize a good chunk of the main cast because they're some of my fa favorite voice actors. Uh, Alicia here was voiced by, I forgot her name, but she voiced a lot of cartoons. And one of her more prominent ones that I recognize from is from Digimon. She voiced Sora from Digimon. <clears throat> now, a word from our good general. We got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take him down as fast as you can. Trust me, there's not a whole lot of them. It's just a scouting party. Our objective here is to murder all of them. Leave not a single one alive. Let's take care of them once at a time, nice and easy. And here are our victory and failure conditions. We get after every briefing, and I'm trying not to giggle over General Kermit because I just have that mental image of Kermit and M. Bisonware. Now, the failure condition tends not to change throughout the game. If our two protagonists die, welcome to leash up. If either of them go down, that's it. If Or if 20 turns pass, which... If you take more, more than 20 turns in a mission, you did something wrong. And then the victory condition... This is the usual victory condition for, like, the optional uh, missions and battles. But throughout the game, it will probably be changing constantly. Right now, it's just simple. Kill all of them. Just stay calm and get it done. And here we are. The games are in phases. There's player phase, and then there's I enemy phase. And you have good eyesight, Welkin, because as I go to the map, he has a heck of an eyesight to see Stay three. Sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. And here comes tutorials. So we have command mode and action mode, as I said earlier. We are currently in command mode of the player phase, which is this. We go around the map get to see the enemy units, plan our things, and then we use our CP or command points to control our units. Right now is just for that. There is other uses for command points later in the game. So, that soldier is facing away from us. This triangle here tells you which direction the enemy is facing. He's facing away from us like an idiot. Seriously, they came charging in shooting at people. And this guy decided to turn away from the town watchmen who were firing at him not five minutes ago. We're going to be killing him in about five seconds as soon as I finish explaining everything. So, here is the other two. Like I said, Welkin has good eyesight. And notice how that's actual thing. Welkin was the one who saw this guy. Those yellow lines are the sight line. It tells you who sees who. Welkin being the nature enthusiast that he is, has a very... He has one of the best sight lines in the entire game. So he is very good at spotting. And I'm actually going to use Welkin for this, because I'm just going to say it now, Welkin is not always going to be a scout unit. Ready to go. And here's action mode. So we can freely move about as long as we have bar in our action point gauge. Once it hits zero, we can't move anymore. And uh, units turn ends either when you want to end it or you use both all your action points and your target mode. Target mode is this, your ability to aim. I'll go into more detail once I get up close to this guy. 
but as long as you're in target mode, nothing can shoot at you. Because in action mode, when you're running about, enemies can take pot shots at you as long as they can see you. Hence why I said this guard right here is kind of an idiot. And we're going to kind of shoot him in the face a little. Don't you shoot at me. See, he raised his gun up at us, and then I went target mode before he can get a shot off. So, you can actually look around as much as you can, and you don't have to worry about a timer for action mode. So, as you can see, the, at the top of it, there's two kill shots versus person versus armor and area. To kill is how many shots you need to kill the guy. Shots is how many shots you'll fire out of your gun in this... Uh, when you fire versus person is how effective your weapon is against an infantry unit like this scout and versus armor is how effective your gun is versus tanks and other armor units this gun as you can see there's an x that means this gun is useless against armored units it also does not have an area effect that's what area is if it's a circle, that means it's probably a grenade or some kind of mortar round. Versus person, if it's a circle, that means it's heavily effective. And I'm just going to keep pointing my gun at him as I explain. If it's a triangle, that means you'll do damage, but it's going to be very little, like one or two points. And then there are critical areas as well, like for infantry units, it's the head. For armored units... It's, as I pointed out with the truck, it's the Ragnite engine. Ragnite is, the, like I said, the magic rocks that all of this world is reliant on. It's also highly explodable when you shoot it. Now, as you can see, I have a yellow circle and my crosshair. If it's red, that means it's targetable and I can hit them. If you use Q or E... You can swap between your enemies that you can see, as you can see here. And then the yellow circle is your effective range. That's, in essence, how far your shots are going to go wide. So it's a good idea to encompass your entire enemy into the yellow circle. Hence why I tend to have my scouts be my shotgunners of sorts. I had to run up practically point blank range and shoot them in the face. Like so. And he's dead. Yeah, this going over the end action when you use your target mode and all your action points. That's it. And speaking of, uh, here's the cover thing. I'll get back to my point, my voice acting point later. So here's cover. As, as you can see, there's trees, fences, sandbags. These are your cover. This is how you don't get shot in the face. Because while there is a dodge stat, that's not really going to come into play until much later in the game. When you get near the sandbags, you can press space to crouch. You move slower, but you are much harder to hit. It's generally a good idea. Ow, ow, stop shooting me, you jerk. When you press uh, space near cover, you can crouch, which, you know, you move slower, but you're much harder to hit. And as you see, I end my turn. I can actually select Welkin again. So you don't have to... When you use a unit, that's not... you. It's not like XCOM, where once you select a unit and you use their turn, that's it. You can use the character multiple times. But you do get diminishing returns on your AP gauge. It decreases by about a third per usage. But that will come more play when we have more CP to play around with. Right now we have literally three. One for normal and then one each from a leader unit, which are Alicia and Welkin. Because you can see they have a command emblem next to their portrait. That means they're a leader unit. Now if you enemies also have this, right now they don't have leader units at all. But if you kill a leader unit, you actually remove a CP that they can use. Ready to go. Oh, stop shooting me, you jerk. What have I done to you besides try to shoot you in the face like this? Ow. Okay, my jacket is awesome. There's not a single puncture wound that I can see. But I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face for shooting me so much. 
take the bullets and eat them. Yes. Someone doesn't have enough iron in their diet or lead. I am happy to oblige. Ow! Stop with the bullets! Bullets are painful, even if I have an indestructible jacket. <laughs> nope, ow, ow. Zigzag. Stop shooting me! So, I will say this right now. Make sure when you're firing that crosshair is red. Like I said, if it's white like this, that means there's no target. You can be point blank, like right up in their face and have it not be a red crosshair because your gun is literally sticking through their head. I'm not gonna go into how the physics behind that are practically impossible, but you know, just make sure you keep an eye out for that. And that's the end of the operation. I only got shot like 10 times, but they're all dead. I don't see any more of them. I don't see any either, and less they can reanimate. Ugh, oh, jeez, zombie. I wonder if Ragnate could be, Ragnite could be used to make zombies. Ragnate sounds like a Ragnite lemonade. <laughs> and here's the combat report at the end of every mission. You get a base res uh, XP and money. That's what DCT is. Uh, just for clearing a mission. You get a bonus depending on the rank, A rank being the highest, and as you can see, you also get a bonus for every enemy leader you kill, enemy aces, and then tanks. You get more tank bonus the deadlier the tank is. Trust me, you don't want to fight a destroyer tank unless you're really well prepared. We also won't be encountering main destroyer tanks until like the end of the game. But not every mission has an enemy ace, though. In fact, it's in very specific missions. We won't be seeing our first enemy ace until Chapter 2. And here we are, Hilltop Promise, the end of the prologue. Let's see the aftermath of that battle. Notice that we don't get to see the enemy faces. Granted, I shot them all in the face, so, you know, I'm sure we don't want to see it. No. Go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Was this her first uh, sign of real combat? Because from the sound of things, how she's acting, this was her first live battle. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. But she is, if it. anything, Even determined. Going to war, I'll do it. And, and if there's one thing to be afraid of, it's when a kind soul goes to war. Because, yes, it will change them. What are those? But they're going into Seeds that battle with a desire to protect what they white, care about. Small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. I like this optimism. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war no was made formal of declaration. I have no, no doubt that they had done skirmishes and attacks well before that formal what declaration. Would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. As said earlier, this is These kind of a reverse chronology a story. story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. No, I don't want tragedy. The tragedy. A story of courage. I mean, it's war. That's kind of a thing. Of persecution and hate. Oh boy, persecution. Always a fun thing. Blooming, even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict, and of those who fought, lived, and died. Irene Collar on the Gallian Front. Valkyria Chronicles. And that was the prologue.
the chapters from here on out are going to be quite a bit longer. 